YouTube kick. So, um, this video is, um, <laughs> this video is about somebody who, let me just show you the video. I ain't even going to explain it. that type of thing check the tears blah 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 right i mean makes sense and so um what they had said to me it's like well we don't do that here and i'm like but you're a gyne gynecologist office why wouldn't you well we don't treat trans patients so you're discriminating against me is what you're telling me you know my female doctor in toronto would have taken you in a hot beat damn yeah it's fucking bullshit i am pretty fucking pissed um, uh, you know, it's so hard to find a fucking, like, a gynecologist that can, like, even work with me, you know, and I just, I don't understand it, so, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, you know, um, it, it's, it's, I just want to let that marinate. I know some people find it offensive if I was to say that sounds like complete insanity. But that sounds like complete insanity. I'm sorry. That sounds like complete insanity. So this person is upset because they cannot go to a gynecologist because they're trans, right? So that means they don't have the actual female body parts down there to do anything. Even with surgeries, guys, your gynecologist, is, it's not like you just mainly get it. You get a uterus, you get all this other stuff, you get all the ovaries, and you get all the female things that come down there, right? You don't get all that, right? You don't just be decide to become a woman and your female the female version of what men may have in other parts or the extra stuff that women have down there. All of a sudden, bam, it just pops up down there and a gynecologist can be like, oh, you're a woman? Well, let me stick my hand into this either gaping hole or I'll stick my hand, what, on your balls? I'm going to stick my hand on your penis and check for what? You're a guy. I'm sorry. Look, I'm so sick of having to do this. Let's play this this pronoun game. I'm sick of having to play this. Oh, well, he's actually, he feels like he's, a, it doesn't matter what you feel like. I'm sorry, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. Why do we feel like the world owes you that? I, why do we have to give into that delusion? This man or woman who is a gynecologist went to school, right? Got a degree, learned all this stuff. And you're just going to disrespect them and go in there and say, well, I feel like I'm a woman. Like, what do you think they're supposed to do? But like, well, I, I mean, so? I don't care what you think you are, but you don't get to walk up in here and just tell me what you are and I'm supposed to just do it. Are you crazy? Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. You're right. And you know what? That sounds like a true mental illness to me. And I'm being completely serious. A person who's upset that if they were to go into a gynecologist and they don't have the female party parts because they're not female at all. And they're upset that the gynecologist won't work on you because you don't have anything for me to work on. What do you want me to do? What are you? What are we talking about here? You'd be mad at somebody who'd be like, "Doc, I need to know if I'm pregnant." Um, well, you got. Are are you? Were you born female? <laughs> Doesn't matter where I was born. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I'm a woman now. But were you born? No. Okay, so. <laughs> If I go down there, you have a penis and testicles. And you what what honest what honest answer do you want me to give you? If I go down there, you have testicles and a penis, and I tell you you're not pregnant, are you gonna argue with me that you are pregnant? If we take a pregnancy test right now, if I give you all the tests in the world, like, what do you want me to do? All this stuff would be harmful to you. If I was to give you any medication that was for pregnant women and you are not a woman, 
or let alone a pregnant woman, it could be harmful to you. Am I supposed to, as a doctor, just give in to your delusion? That's not ethical. Do you understand that? There's some things called ethics. And I can't ethically do that to you. But that's not what we want to do today. We want to protect everybody's feelings. And I, you know what? That's the case for even myself. I know I keep going into this, but it's just true. It's just true. I can't have everybody protect my feelings because I'm obese. I know that. And people are going to call me obese. And that's fine, as long as you're not malicious about it. But I understand that, and I'm doing the tools to lose the weight. But I'm not delusional. I would never tell you guys I'm healthy and I'm full of life. I don't expect anybody to tell me. Because if somebody was to tell me I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly healthy and I'm going to be okay, and that I die a couple years from now because I was 500 pounds, that's unethical to me. We tell people stuff because it's beneficial to them. Me telling that guy he's a man is going to be beneficial to him medically in life. Because if you really go to a gynecologist to see, to get a checkup on something there's no need to check up on, that's not good. And if I let you live in this delusion, you'll probably do stuff that was meant for women. You'll take stuff that's meant for women. You'll do things that was meant for women. And it's going to harm you and possibly lead to an infection or something worse. And what am I supposed to do? Just sit back and be like, ah, oh, well, no, you can hate me. You can spit in my face. You can yell. You can scream. But at the end of the day, we got to keep it moving. Because at the end of the day, I'm sorry to tell you, young man, it's not about you. I ain't here to tell you, sir, it ain't about you. It's about everybody. I mean, we can't let this go on because more people are going to get hurt but it's going to be more women who get assaulted because there's creepy men who get in dresses and walk into the women's bathroom. It's going to be more creepy men who walk into the women's bathroom. It's going to be more of an issue because I'm sorry to say this. I understand there are trans men out there, but they don't seem to put up as much of a fight because they're women. They're biological women, so they're not going to put up much fight against biological men. But biological women are not going to be able to put up a very good fight against trans women. When it comes to this kind of stuff, if we let this continue to happen, women will be erased. Women will be completely erased. And I'm not even, I wouldn't even be surprised if women started become, wanting to become a man because of trans women taking over everything. Maybe they're like, you know what? I can't even go to the bathroom without worrying about this. You know what I mean? Forget it. Being a woman sucks. Being a woman could suck now because you can't even go into your own bathroom without a dude with his testicles hanging out. And saying I'm a woman. You can't compete. But all these rules are getting changed, obviously. But I'm just saying it'll rise again. We'll have this conversation again. And if we don't continue to just keep talking about it, I'm talking about after the dead horse, after this is gone, even if we beat it completely and this stuff disappears, we need to keep stomping on that. We will keep beating that dead horse because we do not ever want to see it rise again. Because that's what we did before. We let this stuff go when we started to see it happening. We are like, well, it ain't that bad. Maybe we should just, and next thing you know, that thing came back like a zombie, started biting everybody. Started just, ha, 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 biting everybody, infecting everybody. We call that indoctrination now, but it, you get, I'm just trying to, you know, a little humor in here, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's this, it's what it feels like. This dead horse came back to life and just started biting and infected everybody. And next thing you know, we're reading in the media, what is a woman? We can't even answer the question. Matt put that up and we, now we have to ask, Hey, is a man and woman even the same thing? Like that's what happened. It just started infecting everybody. And it's still a small population that even believes this because the power that comes with this because some people want y'all's vote. They push it even harder now, even if they believe it's goofy. You think a lot of these people who want y'all's vote, y'all that want y'all's trans vote and want y'all's gay vote or lesbian vote or whatever y'all want to call yourselves. I don't like labels, but it is what it is. If y'all want whatever vote y'all want, you think they care about y'all? <laughs> oh, they care about y'all as much. As they do care about the black people. You think they care that you're black? <laughs> no. They're going to do whatever they need to do to get that vote, boy. And they're going to prey on the weakest of people. They're going to prey on the people who are looking for a home. Right? They're going to look for the people who feel like they're victimized every single day. Got the same rights. Even more rights in some cases. 
even more rights than the average person. But as long as you're not cis, is what they say. We know that's becoming a slur. But as long as you're not a straight white man, you good. <laughs> as long as you're not that, oh, we got you back. If you're a white woman, we got you back. Not more than black women, but we got you back. We might call you something that you don't want to be called, the K word. I won't say it. But if you black, <laughs> we got you back. And if you're a black woman, oh, we really got you back, even if you're fat. <laughs> and if you trans, oh, we going to open the floodgates for you, baby. You can, you can pretty much walk, walk around with your butt cheeks hanging out. We don't care. Take off your shirt. Show the world your breast. We don't care. Be free, butterfly. Be free. Forget about the kids. I don't care what the kids. I don't care if there's naked. I don't care if there's kids dancing around naked people at a proper rate. I don't care. You get out there and you be free. I'm out of here. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Is this person going? To, is this person insane? I mean. <sighs> Maybe don't tell me if the person's insane. Let me know. Do you think this person is mentally okay? Or do you think there's something going on? Y'all let me know. I ain't saying you diagnose them, but let me know. Would you consider this normal behavior? There we go. Would you consider this normal behavior? Now let me know. Peace.